possibly one of the best dinosaur fossils ever found. Yet hardly anyone has seen it. Today, we're covering the story of the dueling dinosaurs, also known as the Montana dueling dinosaurs. It's a story that started 67 million years ago, but we're going to start a bit later than that, on a hot, dry morning in Montana, June 2006. Clayton Phipps calls himself the Dino Cowboy. It's easy to see why when he's wearing his trademark black felt Stetson Cowboy hat. It was Phipps and his team who set out to find fossils in Hell Creek, located in Garfield County, Montana. If Hell Creek sounds familiar to you, it's because it's one of the most famous fossil sites in the world. Now, it's a vision of a grayish sandstone. But 67 million years ago, it was a swampy floodplain. This time period is called the Late Cretaceous. It was a time when dinosaurs ruled the land, and flying reptiles like the Pteranodon dominated the skies. It was a much hotter climate than we experience today. The sea level was high, with almost no ice sheets or glaciers, and lurking in the sea were huge marine reptiles like the Mosasaurs. The first day of excavation, one of the group, Mark Eatman, found a pelvis amongst the hills. Phipps recognized it as a ceratopsian. This means it belonged to a plant-eating dinosaur with a beaked mouth. Probably no big deal, right? Phipps remembers. We weren't all that excited. It was a pelvis in the ground at the bottom of a canyon that was really remote and no roads to it at all. We had no plans to go back, but I'm sure glad we did. It wasn't until a month later that the fossil hunters returned to the site alongside the owners of the land. With the owner's permission, they got to work, excavating the discovery with pen knives and brushes. Two weeks later, the body of the Triceratops horridus was revealed. Triceratops means three-horned face in Latin. With its three sharp horns and spiky head plate, this plant-eating dinosaur would have been a pretty scary sight as it stomped across western North America. Here are some key stats you need to know. Some specimens have been found to be 30 feet long. For a bit of context, an adult giraffe can grow up to 20 feet tall. They could weigh six to eight tons. If you need that in kilograms, that's 7,257.48 kilograms. They are known for their massive heads, and some fossil hunters have found skulls 10 feet long. They often lived solitary lives, and did sometimes fight each other. The species was killed off 66 million years ago, probably when a seven and a half mile wide asteroid hit Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Phipps and his crew were pretty happy with this discovery. It was a fairly complete skeleton. But one day, when Phipps was getting the fossil ready to be removed, he found a claw. A three-toed claw belonging to a carnivore. Three months of excavation followed. It was so intense that Phipps lost 15 pounds. Eventually, the team had two dinosaurs who had been wonderfully preserved fully articulated and possibly with mummified internal organs. Until recently, little study has been done on the dueling dinosaur's fossil. But we have a good idea of what the other dinosaur may have been. At 22 feet long, the species is likely to be a juvenile T-Rex. The T-Rex may be the most famous dinosaur in the world, Full name Tyrannosaurus rex, meaning Tyrant Lizard King. This dinosaur has captured people's imagination since 1902, when it was first discovered by famous fossil hunter Barnum Brown in Hell Creek. And for good reason too. Here are some key stats you need to know. The T-Rex has a set of 50 to 60 banana-sized teeth. Pretty useful for a meat-eater who could rip almost 100 kilograms of flesh from their unfortunate victims in a single bite. Although the dueling dinosaur specimen was on the smaller side, 
A T-Rex could reach almost 40 feet in length and 20 feet in height. Some scientists believe this dinosaur could run at speeds of 20 kilometers per hour. Not someone you'd want to challenge to a race. As well as being a fearsome creature, the T-Rex was pretty smart too. It had a brain twice as big as those of other carnivores. You might have noticed that I mentioned this dinosaur is likely to be a juvenile T-Rex. This is because some people think it may be a Nanotyrannus lancensis, a rare species whose existence is still up for debate. Nanotyrannus means pygmy or dwarf tyrant, basically a small tyrannosaur. The first skull was found in 1942 by an American paleontologist, a scientist who specializes in studying fossils called David H. Dunkel. It didn't get named Nanotyrannus until 1988, but debate still goes on. On one hand, the skull bones weren't fused in Dunkel's find, suggesting the specimen may be a juvenile T-Rex. On the other hand, it had more teeth, which is one point for the Nanotyrannus theory. If the Nanotyrannus did exist, it would have lived in the same humid climate as the T-Rex, Western North America. For the sake of consistency, we'll call the dueling carnivore of the dueling dinosaurs a T-Rex. But stay tuned as studies continue on this subject. Phipps sums it up. Obviously, these two dinosaurs weren't friends. So what were they doing in there together? The circumstances of these dino deaths are still up for debate. It's considered unlikely that the fossils washed up together. Was this a case of chance? The dinosaurs in the same place at the same time during their deaths? Or is this a mighty struggle preserved forever? The second theory is certainly exciting, and some evidence of the fossil leans towards it. Firstly, teeth were found in the spine and near the pelvis of the Triceratops. And secondly, the T-Rex's skull was split as if it was kicked. So perhaps a dueling T-Rex and Triceratops isn't just the plot point of a wonderfully eccentric 1918 film, The Ghost of Slumber Mountain. So why has barely anyone seen this incredible fossil? Yet again, Phipps provides us with a quote that summarizes the situation. Dinosaurs bring drama. The fossil has never been fully extracted, cleaned, prepped, studied, or put on display. This process has been delayed by a lengthy legal battle over ownership of dueling dinosaurs, which was valued between $7 million and $9 million. Finally, in 2020, the friends of the North Carolina Museum of National Sciences were able to purchase the fossils and gift them to the North Carolina Museum. The Dueling Dinosaurs exhibit is set to open in 2023, and visitors will get a chance to see the fossils themselves being prepared for public display. Not only is this a great opportunity for people to see this amazing specimen, but studies will help answer some of the big questions in the study of dinosaurs. Like, does the Nanotyrannus exist? Were these two legendary dinosaurs fighting, or is this a chance moment of preservation? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching this episode, and remember to subscribe as we delve into the wonderful world of dinosaurs.